When I hear, I mean, he fell out of the wheel well. It tells me he obviously wasn't doing well after multiple hours on this plane. 80 degrees below zero? I don't care how old you are. How do you survive that? Well, there is a good chance that it might have been actually a little bit warmer because that was the ambient air temperature. But remember, he was, he was in the plane. I mean, he was in the wheel well, but he mm -hmm. was in the plane. The plane is going to be a bit warmer. You're, you know, you're all, the, all the machinery, the body, you know, all of that. So okay. you're in this enclosed space. So it is possible that it was warmer than that. But, you know, when you hear that, you think, ah, oh, to be 16 again, right? <laughs> that you can survive something like this. You know, what happens is that when, you're, when you aren't getting enough oxygen, your metabolic processes slow down mm -hmm. and I mean I'm sorry when you're in that cold temperature your metabolic processes slow down so you actually need less oxygen so that may have really helped him to be that cold now then you wonder well gee then how did he regain consciousness because he probably lost consciousness within a minute mm -hmm. of, of being oxygen deprived and so maybe it was you know the descent is gradual and slow so maybe he gradually got some more oxygen in him he sat on the tarmac for about an hour before he came out. So maybe that was just enough time to get the oxygen, you know, back in him and, and he was able to walk. But it really is, I mean, it, it, stunning is really the only word mm -hmm. to use.